Student Ursula gets ready for her day at the hospital. She makes sure her clothes are up to par. Badge? Check. Hair up? Check. Conservative shoes? Check. She thinks to herself, I should go talk to the off-going nurse to gather a quick summary about my patient. Hi, Sarah. Hi. My name is Ella. I'm a student nurse at Shadyside School of Nursing. I was just about to go into 548 to talk to a patient. I was wondering what you can tell me about her. Uh, yeah. The nurses look up and down the hallway and see that the hallway is clear. It's now okay to talk. So 548, that's Phyllis. She got her replacement two days ago. She's awesome. Her granddaughter's here. She's a little hard of hearing, so when you speak to her, look directly at her and speak pretty slow. She also has a pencil analogy and an allergy to latex. Okay. So are the proper gloves in her room for her allergy? Yeah, they're in there. Okay. Thanks so much. You're welcome. As Ella walks into room 548, she makes sure to knock before entering. After Phyllis invites her in, Ella makes sure to wash her hands before offering to shake hands with the patient and the family member sitting beside her. Ella checks Phyllis's wristband to confirm the information, then introduces herself to the family member in the room. She knows that family is a vital source of information and is important to include in the conversation. Hi, Ms. Dingman. My name's Ella. I'm a student nurse. Hi, Ella. Call me Phyllis. Okay, Phyllis. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel wonderful. Alicia was just working on my hair. I have PT this afternoon, and there's a really cute PT down there. Last Yesterday, I just didn't look good enough, so I'm going to make sure my hair looks really nice today. I'm sure it's going to look great. Oh, thank you. Can you just tell me your name and your birthday? Sure. My name is Phyllis Stigman, and my birthday is January 3rd, 1948. Okay, great. I'm going to do a quick assessment of your environment. Okay. okay. As Ella looks around the room, she notices that Phyllis's call bell is out of reach. She also sees that only one of her bed rails are up. So I'm just going to lift this up for you, Phyllis. We just want you to be as safe as possible. Oh, thank you. And this is your call bell. Do you know how to use this? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. I also see that your bed is low to the ground. That's the way we like it. Okay. And your tray is near you, and your path to the restroom is clear. So that's good. We don't want you to trip on your way there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I don't want to either. And if you need to go to the restroom, just use your call bell so someone can assist you. Oh, thank you. And is it okay if I ask you a few questions with your family member in the room? What's that, dearie? Is it all right if I talk to you with Alicia in the room? Oh, of course. Alicia, she knows everything. Okay. Ella pulls up a chair and sits angled towards Phyllis, displaying an open, relaxed stance, leaning towards Phyllis and making eye contact. So, Phyllis, I, I just also needed to ask you, do you have any other allergies that you're aware of? Oh, yes, dear. I'm allergic to penicillin. Oh. And? Oh, and I'm allergic to latex. Okay, and what happens when you're exposed to these? Well, I tend to rash up a little bit, and I, I just don't like being itchy, and I don't think the PT later will think I'm cute about itchy. <laughs> yeah, that's not so comfortable. No. So, what brought you to the hospital? Well, some years back, I was an Olympic skier. I actually was showing Alicia some of my medals I won. It was quite fun. However, it did cause some wear and tear in my hips. So, I had my hip replaced today. I just couldn't go on doing my activities of daily living. Okay. And so, as an Olympic skier, what types of events did you do? I did the downhill slalom event. It was great. I just absolutely loved it. It was really cool in 68,000 France. It snowed the entire time during my races. Oh, wow. It would be nice if we would get some snow around here. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. So did you have any other injuries associated with skiing? I was pretty lucky. My knees stayed in check, my hips. I never really even fell and broke my wrists. However, I did have my other hip replaced two years ago. For the same reasons. Dr. Payne did both of my hip replacements as well. Okay, that's great. And you like him? Oh, he's the best. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other health-related injuries? 
Well, you know, I do have low blood pressure, but it's been like that my entire life. I do make sure I monitor it all the time so I don't have to take medication. But I do take baby aspirin and multivitamins, though. Okay, that sounds good. I'll mention that to the nurse. Okay, so do you still enjoy skiing? Well, unfortunately, Dr. Payne doesn't let me downhill ski anymore. But I am lucky enough to learn how to cross-country ski. It's all the same, but it does the job. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Are there any other activities you like to do? Oh, yes, of course. I have two dogs, so they keep me busy on the hiking trail, and I walk them all the time. I also like to do some water aerobics. It's cool, and I love to travel. Oh, that's great. I also really enjoy traveling. Oh, what's your favorite place to travel to? Why, Switzerland, of course. Oh, my husband's Swiss. It's really nice there. Oh, aren't they cuties? The PCT comes in to check Phyllis's vitals. When she knocks, she follows zero tolerance, but reaches for the latex gloves. Oh, hi. My name's Ella. I'm a student nurse. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Phyllis actually has a latex allergy. Oh my goodness, Miss Stegman, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. You can call me Phyllis, too. Let me just switch out my gloves here. Thanks, I'd appreciate that. Don't want to rash up. I just need to check somebody. Oh, okay. Go right ahead. The PCT gets Phyllis's vitals. Before leaving the room, she makes sure to wash her hands. So I see that your granddaughter Alicia is here with you. What can you tell me about your family? Well, I was married for 40 years to the love of my life. He actually died when we went skydiving. I think the jump kind of scared him. Henry, he always did want to go out with a bang. Anyways, Henry left me with two wonderful children, Stephen and Annabelle. Alicia is Stephen's daughter. She's great. She's my favorite. That's why she's here. My favorite too, Grandma. Of course. Bella back channels and agrees by nodding. It sounds like you're living a really adventurous life. Oh, and I don't plan to stop anytime soon. I plan on hiking the Appalachian Trail when I get better. Well, how long did it take you to recover from your last hip replacement? Well, Dr. Payne put me on a strict regimen for my therapy. And I do, I'm doing the same one for this one. It took me about six months, so I'm hoping that's the same amount of time this will take. Okay, and who's going to be with you when you go home? Well, I have a great support system in my family. However, Alicia, my favorite, will be staying with me. That's great. Oh, yeah. Okay, so do either of you have any questions for me? None that I can think of. Actually, I was just wondering. Um, I noticed that PCT didn't know she had a latex allergy. Is there any way we can put that on our chart or give her a wristband or something just so everybody knows? I don't want her to get a rash while I'm not here. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll mention it to the nurse, and she can definitely do something about that. Ella stands up, moves the chair to its original position. Then thanks both Phyllis and Alicia for their time. Well, thank you, ladies, for your time. Oh, thank you so much, Nurse Ella. You seem like you're on a great pathway, and you have a great school and a great education teaching you. Thank you. I really enjoyed it also. Oh, thank you. She makes okay. sure to shake their hands. I feel great, Phyllis. Oh, you too. Okay. Say bye to your Swiss, Swiss hobby for me. <laughs> Upon exiting the room, Ella as well displays the zero tolerance behavior of washing her hands. She then finds the current assigned nurse to report her findings using SBAR. Ella once again checks the halls to make sure that they are clear. Hey Sarah, hey. so I was just in back 48 with your patient. Um, I just have a concern, which is the PCT came in and put on latex gloves, and with her allergy, I was just wondering if there's a way that we can make it more 
clear and visible about her situation? Sure, you know, that's a good idea, but we're actually changing shifts right now. Morgan's going to be the oncoming nurse, so if you could ask for her on this Phyllis and let her know about the latex, she'll fix it for you. Okay, can you just tell me what she looks like? Yeah, you know. Oh, wait, here's Morgan right here. Okay, thanks. Hi, Morgan. I'm Ella. I'm a student nurse at Shadyside School of Nursing. Um, I was just in room 548, and the patient there, she had her hip replaced two days ago. She looks like she's recovering really well. She's a really sweet older lady. Her granddaughter is staying with her. Um, my only concern is that she has a latex allergy, and the PCT came in a pound latex gloves. So I was just wondering, her granddaughter mentioned she was concerned that we put up a sign so it's more clear about her allergy. Let's catch up. Let's take care of that now and make sure everyone's known of her allergy. As Ella and Morgan walk back into Phyllis's room, Ella feels great knowing that she made a vital contribution on her clinical visit today. SSO Info 21 2, what it do? Listen up, use a student nurse now. Learn it, tub us a win. Finish up semester, wow. Now, this is how you gotta function. Knock on the door and give you introduction. Sanitize your hand and check up on the wristband. You need two forms of identity. Set it, set it, adjust to get your clarity. Just remember the same charity. Do it all right and you'll get your prosperity. You gotta gotta have the bed low, reels up. Need to grab that cover, yo. Yeah. Size up the room and make sure it's clear. But do it in 60 seconds. Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? Oh, I know you hear me now. Solo, baby. You know what I mean. Sit down, open posture, lean forward and talk serene. Fill out that guidance as best as you can. Chat with the patient and then integrate the fan. Cluster all that data so you can plan their care. Goals, outcomes, interventions, they all gotta be there. Thank them for the time of cooperation. On the way, stop at the hand washing station. Now that's all you gotta do, just what I say. If you catch me on my unit, better shout my way. Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear?